and welcome to Ganesh Institute channel. Today the topic of discussion is power method which we use to solve eigenvalues and eigenvectors. You know whenever we, you can see in my last videos based on eigenvectors and values, I made two of them. You can see easily that for eigenvalues and eigenvectors we have to make an characteristic, a characteristic equation. Similarly, and that equation consists of Ax, okay, where x is something in the form of x, y, z, okay. Here, I'm giving you an, a scenario of 2 by 2 matrix where you need to find out the largest eigenvalue and eigenvector based on power method. First of all, what you need to do, you have to take Ax, okay, and here x is something which is called initial approximation. What is it? Initial approximation. Let's say this is x. Whenever we will solve it, x will be eigenvector and whatever scalar will be here is will be our eigenvalue. Okay? Let's initiate. You have to find out ax. Okay? So ax will be 5 1, 4, 2, 1, 0. If you multiply this, because this is 2 by 2 order, this is 2 by 1, 2 rows, 1 column. So you nullify this, it will be 2 by 1 order. So 5 times 1 is 5, 4 times 0 is 0. Then second order, second row, first column, 1 plus 2 times 0 is 2. So this is your AX. Now what you can do, you can take the first row and first column part element so what is left one can we can we multiply it and divide by five right so that we can take five as common so it will be left as one by five right so it will be in the form of okay now you can write it as lambda raised to power one and this is x raised to power one so this is your eigenvalue and this is your eigenvector. So your eigenvalue, first approximation eigenvalue is 5, whereas first eigenvector is 1.2, okay? Similarly, take you have because you have to find out largest eigenvalue and vector, you have to keep going with lambda raised to power 2, x raised to power 2, lambda raised to power 3, x raised to power 3, okay? So, when you will take, this is ax, now you have to take a, x raised to power 1, okay? a is 5, 4, 1, 2, this is your second eigenvalue vector, this what we are doing for second eigenvalue vector. And x is, x raised to power 1 is 1.2. Similarly, solve this. 5 times 1 is 5. 4 times 0.2 is 0.8. 1 times 1 is 1. This is 0.4. So, 5.8 and 1.4. Again, what you have to take? Common. 5.8. And this will be 1.4. Okay? Because you will be given a scientific calculator, so I'm also using calculator if you don't mind. Okay, so 1.4 divided by 5.8, and that is 2.41. Okay, this is let's say 2.413, three variables. So this is your lambda two, and this is your this bit is your x2, okay? Now, moving on again, you have to take x raised to power 2. So, a is 5, 4, 1, 2. And x raised to power 2 is 1, 2.413. You can take up to 3 decimals. That will give you a certain, without uh, any error. So, if you multiply this with this, 5 times 1 is 5. 4 times this is 4 is a 12, 4 is a 4, 5, 4, 4 is a 16, right? Let me multiply like this. 2.413 into 4, 4 is a 4, 5, 4, 4 is a 16, 4 is a 8, 9. 9.6, 9.7, 9.8, 9.9, 9.9, 9.9, 9.9, 9.9, 9.9, 9.9, 9.9, 9.9, 9.9, 9.9, 9.9, 9.9, 9
six five two. Then one times one is one. Two times this is two to the four. Three to the six. Two and two. Four to the eight. Two to the four. Okay. So this will be fourteen point six five two. And what is this? Hmm. Don't you think we did it wrong? Because one point four divided by five point eight should be point something, right? Let me do it again. One point four. Divide by five point eight point two four one, right? Because numerator is small. So if you take point two four one here, now put value. So if you multiply four with this, four times one four four is sixteen. Four to the eight nine point nine six four, right? So it will be five point nine six four, and here one times one is one. Two times this is two one two four two is eight two two is four, right? Now you can take five point nine six four common. What is left? One, and here one point four eight two divided by five point nine six four, right? So let's divide it again. One point Four eight two divided by five point nine six four. That is point two four eight. Point two four eight. We can take point two five as well if you like. So this is your lambda three, and this is your x three, right? Now similarly, you can take it to let let me erase the initial. So your a this is a x square right? So this will be lambda square x square. Now you have to take a x three. So a is five four one two, okay? And your here you have to take fourth third value. You have to take a x two right? For fourth value you have to take a x three. So your a x two x two is one. And point two four eight. So it will be five times one five. Four times this eight four the thirty two four four the sixteen three nineteen four two eight nine. Okay. Then this multiply this one times one is one eight is the sixteen four two eight nine. Um, two to the four. Right. So it is five point nine nine two and one point four nine six. Again, take common the first digit, first element. This will be one, and this will be four nine six by five point nine nine two. So what is left? If you divide this again, one point four nine six divide by five point nine nine two. That is point two four nine again. Somewhat point two four nine. Okay. Then again, fourth value. If you see, fourth value will be a. Now this is your lambda three, and this is your x three, right? For finding out fourth eigenvalue in vector, what you need to take a x three. So a is this, and x three is one point two four nine. Okay. So if you multiply this, five times one is five plus four times this. Nine for the thirty-six, four for the sixteen, three nineteen, four to the eight nine, and one. If you multiply this nine to the eighteen, four to the eight nine, two to the four, then five point nine nine six and one point four nine eight. What do you need to do? You have to take five point nine nine six common and one. One point four nine eight by five point nine nine six. Okay. Now this is your lambda four, and this is your x bar four. Okay. This was your fourth eigen value, and this is your fourth eigen vector. Similarly, you can keep going fifth and sixth. You will see that 
5.996, approximately 6. You will see these two will be approximately 6. And this will be one point if you take the round off. 0.25, you can see 0.25. Here also 0.25. Because all of those values are common, so you can take the highest value, largest value, which is lambda, means eigenvalue, largest eigenvalue will be 6, and largest eigenvector will be 1 and 0.25. I hope you got this power method. Try with 3 by 3 order, and if you will feel like you cannot do it, just comment on in the comment box. I will uh, make it easy for you. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to like it, share it and subscribe it. T till then, till I make next video, make sure you take care of yourself. Thank you.